What's up, guys? This is D1 Vibroni. We are going to get started on another episode of Undertale. Now, last episode we beat Flowey, and I swear to you, I would have beat him on the first try if it wasn't for stupid Microsoft and their stupid ways of making stupid computers that work excellently because not a one actually failed on me before, except for that one moment. But anyway, before I get started, I would like to let you guys know, because apparently Will has to tell me this, and I have to tell you guys this, uh, this as well on each and every new episode, because apparently he's starting to get annoyed by it. I'm not reading the comment sections to these uh, videos, not at least until I'm finished with the game, well, at least until he tells me that I'm finished with the game. And he already told me I wasn't finished with the game, even after I beat Flowey. Actually, he told me that, like, 20 parts ago. So... I already knew that this was not the true ending, and I just didn't want to believe Flowey because Flowey's a douchebag and I don't want to listen to him. So I'm not going to do it because he told me to, I'm going to do it because I want to, so that's just it. So, uh, at the beginning of every new video, which I don't know how many new videos are going to be because he did tell me that the true ending route isn't that long to get to, um, I'm going to tell you guys that I'm not reading the comments, so you don't have to waste your time trying to tell me something that I'm not going to read until I'm done with the game. Because, again, I'm not going to be done with the game until Will allows me to know I'm done with the game. He said he did a pacifist and a genocide run and a neutral run and other runs of the game. So he knows everything that I need to know and he's not telling me anything because I need to figure it out for myself. So with that being said, I'm going to be doing this now and I hope you guys will enjoy me roaming around aimlessly looking for Alpheus. So I'm just going to try her lab and then see where that gets me. So, alright, let's get started. Yeah, so pretty much what I expected, yeah, it's pretty much what I expected, just gonna leave off right at the last save, which is where Ascor is like, hey, you ready to fight me, or are you ready to go do some other things? And yeah, and I'm about to go do some other things. So, since this is probably gonna take a bit, I'm going to just cut it off at and uh, re restart, or, or I could talk for a bit at least until then I'll do that just to not waste some people's time. This game is, uh, for my current review of this of this game, uh, since apparently the ending I got was the neutral ending, uh, you could say, since it's pretty much the ending you're gonna get if you just do a regular pacifist route, it's a really, really great game, and, uh, the combat system, the combat system is just incredible. I, I never really had a combat system like that before. It has a little bit of a Mother 3 vibe, and... Oh, the music is just fantastic. Not a single piece of music in this is, like, not good. Let's just say that. And it just really, like, tugs on the heartstrings about anything. This True Passers route really has a lot of emotion, and it really makes me never want to touch a genocide route. I'm telling you guys that. And for people who are probably asking me to do one, which I don't know why you would ask, <laughs> Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna even attempt a genocide run for the just for the sole reason of uh, of I would hate myself forever if I kill Toriel I can tell you that much oh okay cool all right hey uh, it's undying shut up papyrus this was your idea human you have to deliver something for me uh Please? I'm... I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's... Uh, in front of Papyrus's, like, his house. See ya, punk! Alright, cool, so we already know what we need to do. Alright, so I don't need to go to Alpheus's lab, at least. I think not yet. Oh, also, a few things. Uh, during the room I was just going through, I apparently had two options, which was a gauntlet option and the other option to get, like, the area that I need to get to through the door and, and things. <laughs> Turns out I did both, and I just wasted my time and effort, but hey, money, right? Grinding experience, well, when I say experience, I mean grinding money, because grinding experience is something I'm never going to do in this game. <laughs> Minotaur looked really, really cool in that Yeah, I already, you can go back to the video, I already said he was rocking it. <laughs> it sort of makes me feel like I could wear one too. Dude, shoot for your dreams. Don't, don't, don't let them be dreams. Hmm. Anyway, this is back to Miss Muffet. Miss Muffet, you will always have my one of my favorite themes in this game. It wasn't for the fact that apparently Sans has a has a has a theme that is sort of like you no know, almost identical to uh, uh, Fresca's theme. Well, it's not really Fresca's theme. I just like to call it Fresca's theme because it's what makes me think of Fresca whenever 
at Friska at any time I listen to it. But apparently Sans has that kind of theme. And apparently you fight Sans. Apparently I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> the dude said I would be dead where I stood. So yeah, I'll t tell you that, he's probably gonna, uh, in layman's terms, kick my ass. So <laughs> I'm gonna go over here now. Okay. Also, I've heard of this guy named, uh, I hope I get this name right, Gaster or something. He, uh, Will told me about it and he tried to make me, like, see him, but I couldn't because I was an idiot. Well, I was an idiot. He should be saying he was an idiot because he was the one who was supposed to help me try to get to him, but no, he didn't. So, either I can get to it or maybe I can? Who knows? I don't really even know how to get to him anyways, and the mystery behind him is just that he's just this dude that's like, I can't really explain it, he's just some guy that just disappears if you talk to him, and he says I have to go through a door back in Waterfall or something. Uh, but in the meantime, I don't know what to do about that, so let's just go over to Undyne, and I I need to, I, I need to find where the first, uh, First thing about thing about what's it is, uh, the 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 boat, the fast travel boat, and basically everything else about this game. I I'm sure there's other people out there like it's not impossible for a person to be like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna kill everybody. There's plenty of other people out there, better let's players than me. Trust me, uh, that can uh, give you a genocide experience that you won't forget because I'll just be crying the entire time and I don't like that and you guys might like that you sadistics out there and masochists but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys who just can't handle the fact that if I kill someone I like I gonna gonna be upset uh, like in Mass Effect 1 when I had to leave one of my teammates to die yeah I didn't really find that very comforting the game wasn't moving for like an hour after that and, uh, Batman, oh, am I spoiling things? Well, Mass Effect's been out for years, I don't, I don't see why people wouldn't know what Mass Effect is, and if you do, I am terribly sorry, but, ah, uh, man. Anyway, if, if, there's just other games that have, like, things in them to, to, to make me yeah, feel like I'm a bad person. It, games, for me, are, like, real, and this game is really trying to depict itself as a real game. Flowey can talk to me, literally legit talk to me, not like I, I'm some player of the game. He kicks me out of the game. He made it seem real, like if I didn't play the game after he kicked me out, he would just be tormenting my friends for the entire time. That's what I believe. Uh, let's go to Snowden. I know, uh, am I pathetic? More than likely. You know, I'm just realizing, I just skipped an entire... I just... I just passed up one of the fast travel stations. Uh, well, I'm an idiot. Anyway, but at least give it more time to talk to you guys, because... I think it's been like a day, or maybe two days, since I played the game, and I've had to let my voice rest, and other videos need to do, because... I don't know who, but I know if I know my uh, subscribers back on my old channel, they are kind of ticked off that a uh, MLP episode isn't on. But if any any one of you guys who are here on this uh, video right now, I just want to let you know, uh, my roommates have gotten more chummy with their room, so it's a lot harder for me to do videos without having them walk in and say shut up. So let you guys know that my struggle is real. So if you don't appreciate that, then just just let you guys know it's gonna be a little bit longer for MLP episodes to come out. Cause on because literally on Monday and Tuesday, I think those are the only days I'm legit in a in a in a scenario where I can like talk. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. So here we are. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh. Sorry, Undyne. I mean, jeez. Uh, oh, wait. No, I could just... Items. Oh, um... There you go. Um, uh, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alpheus. Uh, well, why don't I do it myself? I'm happy that Undyne probably likes Alpheus just as much as she does. Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be great. 
well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll, I'll to tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. Well, yeah, you do have, like, a bad experience with it. It wasn't me giving you water. But I think that was just because of your armor. I think you can handle it. <laughs> now, at least. All right. So here you go. You got the, yeah, you got the undying. You got the, I got the undying's letter. I'm not very great at get at the grammars, but, uh, me think that's not what maybe can be it. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. <laughs> okay. I'm going to respect Undyne's wishes, but before I talk to Papyrus, I need to show that Will told me about this. It's locked. So there's something behind here. It's locked. I'm not sure what it is, and I'm probably not going to figure it out. So. <laughs> Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. <laughs> So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asks you. Cause you have no standards. Well, that's either the nicest thing you've told me and no it's not. And or like one of the realest things you told me, because I really don't have much standards. So let me just go back to the fast travel station before I go the exact long route back to Hotland, because I know I'm a type of guy that would do that. Oh, man. So, so far, so good. Things are different, so what Flowey said is true, and I kind of expect this because, I mean, come on. Why get a date with almost everybody that becomes our true friend and not a date with Dr. Alpheus, who needs a redemption anyways because she kind of lied to us and didn't even tell us that she lied to us. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. Maybe she already knows we already lied to her because Metaton's a real dude like that. Or maybe the player isn't even supposed to care because Alpheus is awesome and you shouldn't even care what she does anyways because she was just trying to help in hindering our progress and then helping from her hindering that progress. But come on! I mean, like, come on. When have we never once in our life uh, give ourselves obstacles that we... You know, I'm just gonna shut up and just... Let's just, uh, let's go to the lab. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yes. And I respect Undyne's personal matters. I'm not gonna read her letter, even though I saved. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Hmm? Uh, oh no. It's another letter. I don't know why to open it. C can I just slide it back out? No, no. I can't keep doing this. Uh, I'll read this one. Um, it's kind of strongly, isn't it? No, wait a second. Hey, obvious. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It, it wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. No, no. That's adorable. I had no idea you wrote that way. Well. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Yeah, so, so she kind of knows what she's done, so it doesn't matter. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. Yes! Let's date Alpheus! Dating start. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh, that's the dress they sit, talked about in the closet that they said they had a whole bunch of lab coats and then just one dress. Looks pretty. Uh, how, how do I look? Amazing. Like a thousand dinosaurs or whatever you are. My, my friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, uh, hmm. Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? 
I gotta give you I items to raise your affection set statistics, right? First. Uh, that'll, that'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, d don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been uh, stockpiling gifts in, in anticipation for a date like this. Oh, wow. So first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you, you can use that. Maybe you can't use that. Oh, I wonder who that should have been for. B but, I also brought some uh, waterproof cream for your scales. I wonder what that, that that's definitely probably for a time when she was going to be dating with Sans or something. Your, uh, scales. My, yeah, my, my scales are beautiful, right? Um, well, how about this magical spear repair kit? Now you're not even trying! <clears throat> Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating starts. <laughs> yeah, let's the uh, date. This is great. This is the second best date I've ever been on. <laughs> do, do you like anime? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about anime, 85% chance I'm probably gonna know what you're talking about. Hey, yeah, me too. <laughs> this is just as awkward as Dirk and Dave talking to each other. Hey, dude, you ready to, like, fight? Yeah, I got, like, a sword and stuff. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Woo, this is great. Hey, let's go somewhere. Yes, groovies. <laughs> But where's a good uh, place to go on a date? I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! Who hasn't brought their significant other to the garbage dump every now and then on a date? Here we are! This is uh, where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... um... Oh no. That's her over there. Oh wow, she's here. Cool. I mean, oh no, I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she, here she comes. Oh wow. She looks amazing. I like the jacket. Hey, there you are. I, um, realize if you deliver that thing, uh, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it! Give it to me! Huh? You... don't have it? <laughs> have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? No, it's not. Man, come on, you know you'd love me. I'm like... Okay, yeah, you and Undyne seem like a thing. I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. It's cool. I, I just, just figured, you know, this is this is the second day that I've been... My heart's been broken. Oh my god, Papyrus, you, and now Alpheus. Oh, no. Oh, my heart can't take it anymore. <clears throat> It'd be fun to uh, go on, like... A cute kind of uh, pretend date with you to to make you feel better. W well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne, the person I um really want to go on a date with, but I I mean she's way out of my league. No, she's not. She loves you too. You just don't know it yet, maybe. Not that you aren't um cool. Well, thank you. <laughs> But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. Hey, I'm confident strong. <laughs> uh, and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? 
Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Is it, isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Um, no. I don't really think that, no. Or truth where neither of us are. Well... Dang it, Alpheus, don't be like that. I know you're making me in my head think, but I do think it's the latter. Or is it the former? Darn it! Now I'm confusing myself. They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. Now that kind of makes sense in my book, because I hate myself every day. And I always wish I was someone else. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Well, don't. <laughs> eh. No, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm right. Yeah, I'm always right. Every day I'm scared. Scared that, yeah, you know, scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undying the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Um, obviously, let's roleplay, let's roleplay. Well, obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? Yeah. That actually sounds kind of fun. Yeah, most anime dudes like, uh, yeah, the roleplay. Well, at least I do. I don't know if I'm the only person, but I'm pretty sure others. Okay, uh, which one of us will be undying? I? This is interesting. Who, who should be undying? If I make her be undying, I really want to see what she would do if she was the person she's trying to talk to. And I'll be undying. I could be undying. Yes! <laughs> that kind of outweighs my, my, my suspicions. I want to be undying. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Hi, undying. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um... So I'd like to, uh, talk to you about something. Hello? What is it, Alpheus? <laughs> you see, I... I... I haven't been exactly truthful w with you. Y you see, I... I... Oh, forget it! I'm dying. I... I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and s strong and nice. Y you always listen to me when I talk about uh, dirty stuff. You always d d do your do your best to make me feel special, Look, t telling me you would beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer! I'm madly in love with you! Hold me, Undyne! Hold me! What did you just say? Oh god, oh, that, that went down the wrong one, but... Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit is really cute. <laughs> What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are oh, you two... On a date? Uh, yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> that, that, I don't like that smile. Oh, God. You know, it, it just reminds me, she's reminding me a lot of Jasper from Steve Universe, with just that smile alone, just like, Oh, we're leaving so soon? No, oh, no, I'm just trying to walk out of the date, just, um, I mean, uh, no. Uh, I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only a romantically role-playing as all, <laughs> as you. She's like Krillin from, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z a bridge. She just can't shut up when she's scared. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean... I'm dying. I... I've been lying to you. Oh, jeez. Dude, that face. What? About what? About, well, everything. I... I... I told you that what I really just wanted to make ice cream. Uh, those human history books that you keep noticing those are just the dorky comic books. No, wait, that face. Oh, I'm trying to read, but dude, it's just anime. They aren't real. Uh, and at the time I told you I was busy at work, it was eating frozen yogurt and then Alpheus. I. 
I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. I... I... Uh, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. <laughs> Alpheus. I'm dying. I... I really think you're neat. Okay? Alpheus. Shh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Three points! Alpheus! I... I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kids cartoons or reading history books. Uh, to me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it! 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alpheus, I want to help you become, uh, become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Uh, Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? I'm gonna let Papyrus do it, because he's ten times- he- dude, yes. <laughs> Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps or, uh, <laughs> hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm dying. I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, they're still real, right? Anime's real, right? Yeah, actually, anime is so real, like, to the- I love how your theme is, like, going off the wall right now. Anime is so real. To anyone who ever picks anime as not real, you are lying, because anime is, in fact, real. We watch it every day, and we live it every day. I knew it! <laughs> Gigantic swords! Magical princesses! Here I come! Just find the nearest anime convention on Dying, you will love it there. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alpheus. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're gonna get better from here. For here. For her. <laughs> well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Oh. That was a hearty, hearty experience. Now I think it's time for me to go to Undyne's laboratory, after that was done. And it's great to know that the dump was actually the place Undyne uh, dropped me down to before. I was wondering where we actually were. So, cool. So, alright, that was... Okay, anything with Undyne and probably Alpheus is going to be by far... Well, anything involving any character, I guess. Ring. Ow! Uh, oh god. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus! You're also you're also mutual friend. <laughs> Come on, Papyrus, don't bring up the fact that you dumped me. Alphys and I finished our training to early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. <laughs> um now. I feel strongly, I feel str yeah, strongly for her no, uh, no apparent, no, uh, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there, to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this, me too, Papyrus, me too, goodbye. Nothing with strong feelings. Nothing with strong feelings. Let me see what happens if I call. I haven't called anyone. Toriel. Nobody picked up, of course. Iris. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, you should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when plans come together. <laughs> oh, jeez. Cool, I didn't actually think they would pick up. 
Oh, hey, dude, I, I, I need a... Give me a crab apple. Thanks, man. I completely forgot you were here. You know, just to fill up that uh, one slot that I didn't have for uh, my healing item so I can put a letter for Undyne. So anyway... Wait, oh, wait, ah, ha, 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 I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking, I know you, you stopped yelling at the screen now, I remembered, ha, 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 yeah, don't, no yelling, it's fine, besides, it won't do me no good since I can't hear you, but I, God, how life would be if I could. Alright, let's go. So we're heading off to Alpheus' lab to see what's up. I should end the part after I find out what the deal about it, though. Because I'm curious, and... Well, yeah, I just want this part to be a little bit longer. Alright. This is gonna be great. Oh, wait, let me save. I don't know what I'm gonna be getting myself into. Alright. Oh, Alpheus! Oh, Alpheus! I'm coming to see you! Still didn't get that hole patched up, I see. Hee <laughs> hee, hello. It's a note from Alpheus. Read it? Yeah. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you're try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make, a, uh, make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't any, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Well, that is all she wrote, because we're going to find out the truth next time, because I need to end this part here, because, you know, I'm like that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what's happening in this area. Undyne's Laboratory. Bye. <laughs>